Good morning, monkeys, and welcome to another installment of our Around the Rails in 31 Days Tour. Um, here we are today at America's first theme park, Knott's Berry Farm, um, where we're going to get a chance to ride some all-time bucket list coasters for myself. Uh, huge bucket list theme park here. Uh, just give us a little factoids on this. Established uh, back in 1940, uh, this started out as a berry uh, stand. To be honest with you, berries, jams, preserves, all that stuff, uh, by Walter uh, Knott. Him and his wife literally sitting on the side of the road uh, at State Route 39 selling berries, and here we have Knott's Berry Farm. Uh, so what do we have in store for us today? Well, we've got 10 fantastic roller coasters uh, uh, ahead of us, uh, one of which being one right behind me. Um, we've got an amazing B&M invert here. We've got Ghost Rider, which is a fantastic Woody um, built by GCI. We've also got Accelerator, which is an uh, intimate launch coaster, and then seven other additional coasters. And one all-time favorite for mine that I've never ridden before, uh, literally riding a horse. Uh, on a roller coaster. Uh, so we'll get a chance to see all of these today, but super excited uh, to get inside this park. Cannot wait to see what this park has in store for us today. We've got our season pass here. We've got our daily uh, meal plan ready to go. And on top of it all, we are ready to set up, already set up with our uh, guest relations uh, on our day. Cannot wait to get inside and uh, get you guys a uh, full view of this park. I mean, look at this entryway. Absolutely fantastic. I feel like I'm in a different uh, country. Um, I love it. The music, the theming already, spot on. Uh, can I wait to get inside and get you guys a view of everything you see here? Catch you guys shortly um, inside uh, our theme park today at Knott's Berry Farm. All right, monkeys, and we are into the park. Officially, Knott's Berry Farm. Woohoo! Look at Snoopy over there. Hi, Snoopy! <laughs> All right, where are we gonna go first? Um, I think since we're right here, we'll check out Silver Bullet. I mean, beat em coaster. Look at this beast, you walk right through that massive cobra roll. Absolutely fantastic. So excited for this theme park. One of my all-time dreams to come here for many years. Um, so excited to get inside this park. Uh, yeah, we'll get back to you as soon as we get over to Silver Bullet, which the entrance is right over there. Morning. So we just got off Ghost Rider, amazing coaster. I know we were supposed to wait, we we're gonna go on Silver Bullet first, uh, classic B&M, doesn't really need time to warm up, but this Woody didn't need any warm up time. I mean, it was a fantastic coaster early in the morning, uh, second coaster of the day, which is cool. Uh, but what's fantastic about it is that it's got really great pop trade. There's some really great airtime moments, uh, a lot of lateral uh, Gs on this coaster, pushing left and right. Um, and what's great about it is there's this whole mid-course section that you go through where it feels like you're at the top of another lift hill. And that second drop coming off of that mid-course section is just as uh, snappy as that first one. Um, really fantastic ride. But one thing I ha do have to say about it is the restraints. The restraints, a little bit rough on your, your, your uh, thighs as you're popping through those airtime moments um, and those uh, floaty feelings you get a lot of pressure on those uh, um, uh, thigh muscles. Uh, so just one thing I would say about this particular ride, if those restraints were more cushioned, not as hard rubber, uh, I think you'd have a much more comfortable ride. Because uh, most of the ride, all I kept thinking to myself was, ow, my, my, my thigh, ow, my thigh. Um, definitely something you, know, you don't want to think about when you're on a coaster. Um, all right, so next up, we've got Silver Bullet. Super excited for this coaster. Uh, B&M Invert. You know how I feel about B&M Inverts. They're absolutely fantastic. Um, again, B&Ms don't really need that warm up time, uh, which is great. And what I'm excited for for this particular coaster uh, is the fact that uh, you just end up in a really uh, aggressive moment uh, throughout the ride. 
but it's literally all over the pathways. So as you're riding the ride, you're weaving in and out of the pathways within the park, which is pretty cool. I mean, look at that. When was the last time you saw a Cobra roll like that on a b and I mean, this thing is just stunning. We'll get some really good off-ride uh, uh, video for you to check this out, um, which we'll do uh, right now as we enter Silver Bullet. Here you go, folks. Watch. monkey so we're just getting off a of silver silver bullet um, had a really great back ride back row ride on this one uh, my review on it yeah maybe because it's early in the morning I know B&M's usually don't take a lot of time to warm up but I got to be honest with you I could have taken a nap on that coaster it was so slow <coughs> excuse me sorry I've been battling a cop now for a few days uh, this trip is wearing me out but um, yeah, so slow. I mean, you've got all these amazing elements and the coaster just drags the whole way through. Every inversion you go through, you're just like, okay, are we done yet? Are we done yet? Um, so really surprising for B&M to create a coaster that's so slow and boring, to be honest with you. Um, to top it off, uh, maintenance on the ride. I mean, I sat in the back row and it rattled. I felt like I was in a, a can of beans being shaken. Um, very, very uncomfortable ride. Uh, but the weirdest thing of it all, the seat itself, the most comfortable B&M seat I've ever sat in. Uh, so something to be mindful of, B&M, those seats, spot on perfect. Um, yeah, so as we make our way through the park, I have to say already, I'm only here a half hour. I've already been on two coasters. The park is empty. And after talking to a couple of the employees here, uh, I'm surprised, uh, to be honest with you, because from my understanding, there's like no foot traffic. Not many people coming to the park at this time. Uh, the park closes at six, uh, so we've got a whole day of riding, but by the time six o'clock rolls around, everybody's just out of school, just out of work. Nobody's really coming here. Uh, it's summertime, it's getting cool, or not summer, fall time. So a lot of things to consider here. Uh, oh, there we are, look at that. We got another one. But um, what I can say about this park is as I walk through, it is visually stunning. The staff here, everybody's smiling, everybody's sweet. Got a lot of great uh, hellos and good mornings throughout the day, which you don't see in Great Adventure, which is a very not surprising thing. Oh, look, it's Lucy. Say hi. <laughs> um, so yeah, so we're going to check out another coaster, the Sierra Sidewinder. Look at that. That looks fantastic. All right, so as we walk on to Sierra Sidewinder, I got some really great factoids for you on this one. Built by Mac Rise in 2007, uh, this coaster, uh, I mean, it's absolutely fantastic. You've got uh, some really great elements here. I'm gonna kind of spin the camera around so you can see them there. Uh, but the entire time, you're in a spinning car uh, facing the people that are either behind you or in front of you, or if you're in the front car, you're essentially be seeing the people behind you. Uh, eventually, I mean. But as we walk through the queue, you get a really great idea of this coaster. And just look at this. I mean, I love it with the rock layout along the bottom. Um, not really a pig pen style uh, queue line here. Um, and it's built in, in between all these other rides. Like you've got this Peanuts ride over here. You've got Montezuma's Revenge over there. You've got um, Silver Bullet over there. So it's all really intertwined with each other. And a really great um, <coughs> overall feeling within the park. Um, yeah, so built by Mac Rides in 2007. Super excited to get on this one. It's the first time I'll ever be on a Mac spinner of this style, uh, which would be pretty cool. So yeah, so let's get on the ride and uh, I will see you guys after. Keep an eye out for some off-ride video. Uh, clear to
So just got off of Sierra Sidewinder here in Camp Snoopy, and not Camp Snoopy and not very far. Excuse my fub there. Um, wow, really interesting coaster. I've never been on one of those before. Uh, very interesting because in the seat I was in, set in the second car facing backwards. That initial lift hill up is so steep you feel like you're falling out of the car. That's first and foremost. Uh, secondly, as you're riding that ride, um, you get some serious airtime moments, which is strange because depending on which angle you're sitting in uh, or wherever your car is facing in that moment, you feel like you're gonna fall out of the car, um, which I love. I love airtime moments like that. You get through that first helix there, uh, and you get some really good spin time in that first helix, but throughout the rest of the coast, you really don't do a lot of spinning. I'm gonna have to check this one out later on in the day when there's a little bit more traffic here at the park uh, because I'd love to see what it's like when there's a full car that where the weight is really disproportionate. Um, but yeah, so that was Sierra Sidewinder. We'll get some more off-ride uh, video for you um, and then head on over to our next venture. By the way, uh, one thing I noticed when we were sitting on the ride is as we pass, I don't know if you see that walkway that's up there. Um, there was a horse and carriage going down that walkway. How awesome is that? I would love to have a horse and carriage buggy ride a little bit later, which would be really cool. Uh, but yeah, uh, we're gonna make our way through the rest of Camp Snoopy and um, get some more off-ride of the Sierra Sidewinder. Camp Snoopy bus. Oh, a mini Rapid River run. Look at this, this is so fun. Ah, the stagecoach. We've got to figure out where to get on that stagecoach. That is definitely something we've got to do. Look at that. All right, next up on our agenda, Montezuma's Revenge. This is one of those classic coasters that uh, you see so many times in videos and on, on uh, television shows that used to air on Discovery Channel. Uh, I hope I'm not getting in trouble for plugging that one. But uh, yeah, I mean, this one's been around for a while and it's just a uh, fantastic coaster. Definitely dying to get on this one. Clear dispatch. The train is rapidly approaching the station. Please do not lean on or over the loading wheels. So as we walk up a Montezuma's Revenge, um, wow, absolutely love that coaster. I'm sorry. Schwarzkopf, great job. Um, 1978, built by uh, Schwarzkopf, like I said, uh, here for Knott's Berry Farm. Uh, really, really fun ride. Great launch out of that uh, station. Uh, you shoot straight out in the air, uh, which is fantastic. Once you hit that loop, massive intensity going through that loop. A lot of force. G-Force is really pushing you down to the seat, popping up that uh, hill, and then the whole way backwards. Really fantastic ride overall. Uh, four coasters in, and I'm already, I'm only not here an hour. Um, it's been like boom, 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 boom. Uh, but next up, we're gonna try this sucker right here. Love these rides. Uh, so this is La Revolution. Uh, or in Spanish, La Revolution. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna check this one out next. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Uh, check you guys in a bit after this ride. So just get off La Revolution. And uh, I have to say, one of my all time favorite flats but very similar to my conversation I had the other day um, on one of the forums, the American flat package is really weak. I mean, you look at some of the flats they have over in Europe at some of the carnivals, not even at their big parks, the carnivals. Um, fantastic, absolutely amazing. Aggressive, lighting packages, smoke, uh, really pushing the intensity level to the limit. Um, yeah, I think here we're just, we're weak. We're very weak in our flat package uh, as a country. 
Uh, and I think uh, parks need to really step up their game. Uh, this way, everybody, even if they don't enjoy coasters, can come to a park and really enjoy a park. Um, so yeah, so there's La Revolution. Uh, after that, we're gonna head on over to uh, uh, the restroom, really quick stop, and then go into this giant uh, temple over here. I wonder what that is. Hmm, we shall see. So here we are in front of this massive Mayan temple. If anybody knows anything about me, you know how much I'm in love with Inca and Mayan uh, uh, history and, and archeology. span uh, But this coaster designed, there she goes, designed for this whole setting surrounding it. I've got to learn not to speak over a coaster. Um, it's called the Jaguar. Uh, built in 1995, uh, your uh, typical uh, Tivoli uh, setup uh, but what's great about this one, I love it, is it, again, it interacts with other coasters in the park. It's got this amazing, like this is the entryway. Just take a minute, that is the entrance to this coaster. This kitty coaster, super fantastic. Uh, I tell you, Knott's Berry Farm, really, really up there in my uh, list of amazing theme parks. And I agree, it's completely a theme park. But let's switch this camera around so we can kind of see what's going on here. It's a little dark. I you can't sure? see anything. I can't see anything. Me either. <laughs> hey, the Jaguar. Here we are. Try and get some good off-ride footage for you guys. Uh, we're gonna go straight to the back for this one. Ooh, gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. Here we come, here we go on the Jaguar. See you guys afterwards. All right, Coaster Monkeys. So here we are just getting off of Jaguar. Um, awesome kitty coaster, uh, family coaster. Really love the entire thing. Did not realize it was that long. You go through one uh, lift hill, a couple of these here, and I'll swing the camera as you can see. These are helixes, do the first part of the ride. And then this sneaky, cheeky little sucker goes through another lift hill over there which brings you back around that whole back side of the park. Awesome family ride. I definitely suggest if you come with your kids, get on this coaster if they're tall enough. Super fun, really great introductory coaster uh, for your first time rider. Um, a lot of good times on that one. Uh, and it's got pretty good speed too with a couple of good like airtime pops to it. A uh, little intense for a giddy coaster, but totally love it. And my favorite part of the entire thing is that it interacts with every single element around it. You go through the loop on Montezuma's Revenge, you wrap around, go right past um, Sierra Sidewinder, come through uh, by the mountain where the log flume is, uh, and then you end up back in the station, uh, right by that massive temple right there. Super cool. But as we walk through, we're gonna see here, look, we've got our wave swinger. What up, wave swinger? Back there, we've got a uh, boat, uh, pirate ships. So we're gonna have to try that one out. Uh, it sounds like we've got a train coming through. Awesome, the train is running. Definitely gonna be excited to get on that sucker today. Uh, I love riding the train. Oh, and there goes our super scream tower. That's gonna be one to get on most definitely. Bye. <laughs> Look at that speed. All right, so we just got off Accelerator of the Ride. Hardcore bucket list coaster for me. Look at that sucker. Uh, amazing ride, and Timmy did a great job with this one. Thankfully, crossing our fingers, it was running up and running today. Super cool. Uh, can't wait to get a good another few rides on it. The park is really, really dead today. Uh, so I got a front row seat ride on that one. You shoot out, bam, right down that launch 
straight up into that top hat right there. Ready? Three, two, one. Up it goes. Beautiful coaster. Come on down. You swing down, you get into this massive overbank turn. The second overbank turn back into the brake run. Amazing, amazing ride. Um, definitely gonna get a rewrite on that one. Front seat, back seat, middle of the train. Awesome ride photo, by the way. Uh, yeah, cool, accelerated the ride. I mean, no wonder why it's a world-class uh, top, top coaster. Um, check on that bucket list. Uh, all right, we're gonna make our way down, uh, get on Coast Rider. Uh, and a little bit about Coast Rider, it's a mouse, a uh, wild mouse coaster, but what's great about it, it's a completely different layout than your typical Mac um, coaster. Uh, you actually come up here, up this lift, down a drop first, and then you go into that wild mouse feature down the center of the ride. Uh, so really excited to try this one out. Great family coaster um, overall. We're gonna get some off-ride footage uh, for you now, uh, and then we're gonna jump on a ride. Uh, catch you afterwards. So we just got off of Coaster, or Coast Rider, excuse me. Uh, really great ride, built by Mac Ride uh, in 2013. Uh, meant for a large park model. Um, again, different layout than what you're normally used to uh, for a Mac Ride. In my opinion, not as exciting. Um, I like their traditional wild mouse uh, layout better. It's a much uh, more aggressive, much more intense ride. This one's kind of boring. Uh, I could have taken a nap on that ride, to be honest with you. Uh, but still a fun ride nonetheless. Uh, great, perfect family coaster. Behind me was an awesome French uh, father and his daughter. Uh, we're enjoying the back seat of the coaster. It's a really cool ride overall. Uh, but next up, something I've really been excited for. Um, and we're going to turn around and show you hang time. Um, so a little bit about this coaster. Both here in 2018. So this is new for last year. Uh, it's a Gerslauer. I mean, again, can't say it enough. I love Gerslauer coasters. Uh, this is going to be, what, my seventh or eighth or ninth Gerslauer on this trip. Super excited. So it's called the Hang Time uh, Gerslauer Amusement. It's built in 2018. Um, it's got 21, 2,200 feet of track, 2,198 feet precise. And you got a lot of fun stuff going on there. You've got a non-looping loop. Uh, you've got uh, overbank turns. You've got a lot of hang time on this one. Uh, a couple of uh, corkscrews. There's a cobra roll on the inside of here. It's a really exciting ride. Uh, gonna get on it. We'll get some off-ride video for you. And uh, let you know what that ride's like. Hang time. Bring it to the cover roll. Absolutely fantastic ride. By Massive hang time. All right, monkey, 
Coaster. We just got off of the Gershlauer Coaster hang time. Awesome ride. Again, Gershlauer did not fail whatsoever. Amazing coaster. Um, wow, you know what? It's, what time is it now? Not even noon, and I've hit every single coaster in the park already. Unfortunately, Pony Express is down, uh, which really sucks because it's the style of coaster that I really wanted to go on. I've never been on it before, but they're removing all of the Halloween effects out of that coaster right now. Uh, but yeah, it's a little bit more on that sucker right there. So it's that in the front row. You go up that vertical lift hill uh, where all the anticipation is. And when you get up over the top, it just stops you right there. And then wait, and you get a little slip just to scare you. And then it lets you go. Go do that first non-inversion inversion right over there. As it's going through right now, you go up and you come right back down. And then you go into a couple of hang time moments here and then again over here. We're literally just hanging straight from the coaster. And what I love about this park is this park does not staple you in. Uh, so you get some really good, uh, really good uh, floaty airtime moments within that ride. Um, but yeah, I mean, at this point now, um, I guess we're gonna have lunch because it's about that time. Uh, and then check out everything else this park has to offer. There's so much to do here. Such a family oriented uh, uh, location that uh, there's just so much to get on. So we're gonna check this stuff out and get back to you. Can't wait to eat. Calico Mine Company. Oh, Mine Drain, we've gotta get on that one. But first lunch, we've got to eat. Ooh, maybe we'll go into the Calico Saloon. Look at this. Look at that. This woman knows how to get an attention, okay? You guys haven't done nothing. You, you and the yellow, you and the yellow get up here. another ride of Silver Bullet. Uh, this time I'm gonna sit on the front of it. Um, we've had you know quite a bit of time now uh, since the park opened, about four hours. So it should be nice and warmed up. It's definitely a warm day out here today. It was cool last night, so I can understand why maybe the coast was running a little sluggish. Looks like it's got a little bit more speed to it now. So I'm gonna hit it in the front, uh, see if it goes any quicker. And I hope I'm going the right way. I think I am. Yep, I totally am, okay. <laughs> All right, so we're going to board up in the front and uh, we will check you guys after right. So just got a second ride of Montezuma's Revenge. Man, that is a punchy coaster. Schwarzkopf killed it with that one. One of my favorites uh, here at the park. So we're going to give you, you know, a solid top round uh, number. Ghost Rider is definitely my favorite coaster in the park. I'd say Accelerator number two. Uh, right behind that, you've got um, uh, hang time at number three, uh, and then the rest kind of follow suit. Uh, pretty much, you know, back to back. The Mac uh, Mini Coaster, uh, in my opinion, probably not one of the best minis I've ever ridden. It's definitely down way at the bottom. Uh, Matsuma's Revenge, second from the bottom, even though it's a fun coaster. I love Sierra Signwinder. Um, we missed a couple of the junior coasters because they're closed today, as well as uh, the Pony Express, which sucks. We didn't get our full 10 credit for this ride, um, but we are going to get another ride on Jaguar. So uh, hang tight while we finish up this queue and uh, catch you right after. Solid height. Sweet. Air push. Gotta love that hydraulic system. All right, let's get to on. the south, you will see hang time, which takes riders up a 15 story lift hill and suspends them at the top before descending down a 96 degree drop. 
To the east, you will see many sites within our ghost town, Fiesta Village, and Camp Snoopy areas. That mountain range, for instance, is our Timber Mountain Log Ride. It was the first theme log flume ride when it opened in 1969 and remains to this day one of our most popular attractions. Just beyond those tall pine trees is where you'll be able to set up camp with the Peanuts game. Camp Snoopy, which opened in 1983, was the first theme park area that was dedicated to children under 12 years of age. In the distance, you can see an ancient Aztec temple, which is our Jaguar attraction, a family roller coaster that's in. So, monkeys, we just got ourselves another ride on Hang Time. Wow, awesome coaster, absolutely love it. Now that it's warmed up a bit, I have to say it's moved up in my ranking. I would say that's my number two in the park. I actually beats out Accelerator. Even though Accelerator's got that amazing launch, it really is a one trick pony. After that initial launch and going over the top, you get a little bit of air time coming off of that top half, but then after that, you're kind of just like, eh, okay, almost done. Um, whereas with Hang Times, every element, you go right into the next. I mean, Gershlauer just hits it out of the park with that one. Really great coaster. Um, so we've done everything in the park three times. Uh, at this point, we've lapped it that many times. So I think what I'm going to do now is try and get us on that railway. Uh, we'll get some good visuals of the park uh, from underneath. We got our visuals from above. Now we'll get it from underneath. Um, and then I think we're going to call it a day. Uh, park closes at 6 today. Uh, and I want to get back to the hotel and get some rest because tomorrow we got a big day. Welcome to Canada, everybody. Why don't you give yourselves a round of applause? Right? Go. I love it, they like the video. Howdy folks, this here is old Old Cat Mahoney, and I am delighted to take you into the famous Scalico Mine, the richest gold strike this side of the Mississippi.
get ourselves on that train. Uh, they run every 15 minutes, so we should be up for that train next. Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> That's tomorrow. day here at Knott's Berry Farm. Uh, got one last ride on Ghost Rider and that was just, I mean, wow. As the day progressed, the ride got better and better and better. I can imagine that ride on a nice, hot summer day. Absolutely fantastic. Great park, great service. Thank you. Have a great one. Uh, great park, great service. I mean, everyone here is absolutely amazingly nice. Um, and it's some really good collection of rides. You got really great thorough rides. You got some great um, family coasters, which is awesome. Uh, and then you get to the kitty rides and the whole kitty section of Camp Snoopy. Really, really well done. A great collection overall. Uh, put together really, really solid. Um, very thankful to be able to have come here to Knott's Ferry Farms. It's one of my all-time favorite bucket list parks uh, for years. And uh, wow, it just definitely fulfilled my expectations. It's super stoked there. Um, all right, I'm gonna do some video here uh, in this outside area. This is all like really cute shops and everything. Uh, so you can check this out as we head back to the hotel. So LA. berry market. We'll go in here tomorrow, we'll get some uh, boysenberry jam. <laughs> <laughs> 